Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday. Welcome to Friday Favorites. Um, no flops this week, just all good things. I hope you guys had a fantastic week. My week was okay. Some good, some bad, some, you know, just life. <laughs> life comes at you hard sometimes, and um, but I'm just trucking along. So anyway, if you are in a similar boat where you are dealing with some crap, uh, I am sending you lots of positive vibes, and I hope that things look up for you. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and dive into my favorites from this past week. I will put links for everything in the description box right below this video, so um, feel free to check that out. Um, and uh, let's let us dive right into it. I'm gonna start with my perfume pick of the week. Uh, so, okay, I received this little sample of the Seven Virtues Lotus Pear when I purchased this little bundle here at the Sephora sale. So as you guys know, Vanilla Woods is like, holy grail status for me from the seven virtues and I was getting really painfully close to finishing my first bottle of it I think I'm like down to about here and I figured I'm probably going to finish this in the next like couple of months and I'm probably going to finish it before the next Sephora sale comes around so just pick it up now so that you can have it <laughs> That, that was that was uh, that was my thinking there anyway so this particular set was fantastic because it came with the full size the um, travel size of the vanilla woods a book which I have yet to start reading because well it turns out like when you get out of like reading books it's really hard to get back into it but I do find that reading always relaxes me so I'm 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 putting this book aside for Christmas break <laughs> when Stella is home from school and um, I don't have quite as much going on in terms of running around um, and I think that this will be a good read kind of to finish the year off with so anyway but let's get back to this so this was a little sample that was in this trio of products here and um, I had never actually smelled the lotus pear but I've been super curious about it oh guys guess what she's good <laughs> Is she as good as the um, Blackberry Lily or the Vanilla Woods? I don't know. Probably not. It's not as good as the Vanilla Woods. Let me just say that. But I kind of like it kind of the same amount that I like the Blackberry um, Lily. Am I, am I remembering the name of that correctly? I might be making that up. <laughs> I'll put the actual name of it in the description box. Oh, you guys, this is lovely. You can really smell the pear in this. It smells more of like a like Bartlett pear skin type of pear note. And I like it. There's a freshness to it. There is a slight floral component as well, like a clean white floral type note. This is lovely. And um, yeah. I don't know. I'm. I'm. Uh, I don't think I would purchase the full size of this, but I think I would definitely get the roller balls. So anyway, glad to have finally been able to try that. I think that is delightful. Okay, next, um, let's talk about hair. <laughs> okay, so my hair does have a slight blue tinge today. I I know some of you are probably going to comment on that. Um, this morning I used a little bit of the Lanza Blue Deep Brassing conditioner and I left it on a little bit too long so that's fine it's totally gonna wash out by tomorrow but yeah it does leave a slight blue tinge on my hair what I like about that particular product is it does bring out more of like these steel tones in my gray and sometimes I like that and honestly sometimes I like having a slight blue tinge to my hair I think it's kind of fun um and it's just from you know the pigments in the conditioner uh the blue i think is actually designed for brunettes to take the brassiness out of the brunette hair um gray and blonde hair typically responds better to purple shampoos and conditioners but anyway i like the blue but let's let's talk about this okay so the way detox shampoo i feel like i haven't mentioned this in a while but i am still loving this and I use it every single week. It's a once a week like deep cleanse for my hair. Um, this stuff is fabulous. And I think there are actually some holiday kits out right now that have this. And I think there's also 
there's one that has this as well as their leave-in and i love the leave-in i went through an entire bottle of that already it's fabulous but what i like about this detox shampoo is it's not the type of like purifying or deep cleansing shampoo that leaves your hair feeling super stripped or dry afterwards but somehow it gets all of like the styling products out of your hair very quickly very efficiently without leaving your hair feeling stripped like this stuff is fabulous i really really like it um and i actually have been using this over the charcoal um shampoo from what is it raw sugar which is what i actually buy for craig i used to just use that but i i like this better this is i think less drying and now that my hair is like gray and has been for quite some time i've really come to learn that my hair if i don't use hydrating products like it dries out like that when my hair was blonde back in the day like it never I never had those issues but gray hair definitely different so anyway if you like me need a good deep cleanse because you use a lot of styling products but you want something that's not going to make your hair feel like straw afterwards you should check this out and then um i've been using this and i really like this a lot this is the bondi boost heavenly hydration conditioner i recently picked this up just on a whim at ulta this is great i did not get the shampoo i just got the conditioner and I think I need to go back and get the shampoo because this is a really great lightweight but very moisturizing conditioner. So this says uh, supercharge dry strands and replenish lost moisture with this luxurious deep conditioning formula um, powered by the patented complex aqua, aquaxil, aquaxil. Uh, yeah, that's I've never. This is like a trademarked word, so I don't think it's a real thing. <laughs> Rich in uh, phospholipids, ceramides, and emollients to deliver intense hydration. This proprietary formula provides up to 72 hours of hydration, protects against color fading, and leaves your hair visibly healthier, nourished, and velvety smooth. Yes, and not weighed down. Look at my hair. Not weighed down. Fabulous. Feeling soft. Feeling silky. Um, really want to try the shampoo. So... Um, I do have my, uh, what is it, the, the $10 off, like, birthday month voucher, coupon, coupon, there we go, that Ulta sent me. I haven't used it yet, so maybe I'll go and put that towards the shampoo. But then again, I might need another conditioner because I think I'm already halfway through this. I've been, I purchased this, like, a, couple, a few weeks ago, and I've been using it pretty consistently. Um, but, yeah, love it. That's good stuff. Okay, should we do skincare or makeup next? Let's do makeup. Let's save skincare for last today. By the way, I have, huh, you guys, this eye, I don't know what is going on with this eye, but it just waters like crazy. Um, this eye is fine. Like, it never waters. Is there a reason why one eye would be watering while the other is not? Like, is this a thing? I should probably Google it. Anyway, okay. I gotta update you guys on some of my Sephora purchases and I'm gonna update you on these three things here. Love, love all three of these and can honestly say uh, if you didn't get them during the sale, I think they're still worth splurging on. <laughs> oh, these hourglass palettes, you guys, the artwork is beautiful and you know, part of the reason that I definitely leaned towards these this year was because of the artwork but also the products inside. I just love Hourglass finishing powders. I love their blushes. So I'm wearing one of the blushes today. Um, I used the Elephant palette and the blush, oh, hopefully I'm not blinding you with that. Uh, the blush that I used today is number five and that is Radiant Rose Blush. You guys, it does have the prettiest shimmer. By the way, I'm not, I didn't do much in the way of makeup today. It's, it's one of those days, but I did want to have a nice pop of color on the cheeks and oh, look at this. It's so, these are beautiful. You guys, the hourglass products are probably what most people would consider like overpriced, 
but the quality, the way that they look on my skin, the way that they wear, like they, it makes it splurge worthy for me. If you've never tried any of their products, I feel like this is a good way to kind of get a nice sampling of a few different things. Um, this one here has a bronzer in it, for example. There's a couple of their um, ambient lighting powders. There's also one of the strobe powders in this one, and this is this is the elephant one. Um, the butterfly one equally as beautiful gorgeous artwork this this blush right here let's see what's that one three blush and soft flush mm, i think this is my new kind of holy grail pinky mauve shade from hourglass um look at that there's pink and then there's also some mauve swirl throughout oh so beautiful so this one has several finishing powders and then it also again has a strobe powder in it as well um i don't love the strobe powders as much they are a little bit shinier but their ambient lighting powders give you a lit from within glow um these are the highlighters that i have used for the longest time while everyone was doing like the crazy stripe of glitter like i wanted to participate in the highlighting trend but the only way that I could do it where it didn't look ridiculous and accentuate the look of my pores was to use these ambient lighting powders. And I have loved them forever. This one here, um, the Hourglass Diffuse Light, I think has always been my favorite. And it's just gorgeous. There's never any like unnecessary shimmer or glitter with these. Um, they're just beautiful. And uh, yeah, highly recommend. Uh, the Tiger one, the color story in that particular one didn't suit my skin quite as much, but um, but I love the packaging of that one too. So anyway, I opted for these two, glad I did, love it. And this Artist Couture powder, you guys, this is their multi-use beauty powder in, I got the shade Creme Brulee. This is a perfect color match for me, by the way. I thought it might be a little bit too yellow, but it actually like really kind of blends perfectly into the skin. This provides a good amount of coverage. So I've been using my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten just as my regular powder foundation, using this to set everything, and it has been a fabulous combination. Um, just provides a little bit more coverage, which right now, unfortunately, I kind of need a little bit more coverage. I have, I have been breaking out like a beast, you guys. And this leads me into the skincare portion of this Friday phase. So I, um, I, I've, I've honestly, I like, I've had some rough times over the last like month and a half. My parents are in the process of divorcing and it's an incredibly stressful situation for me because of, um, what my stepdad did. Like it just, it, like it's huge, massive, like, massive betrayals right and that stuff just weighs super heavy on my heart and i'm also super worried about my mom because she's the one that is basically in the rough spot in this situation and um i love i'm a mama's girl through and through and so that stress has really been eating at me like worrying about my mom you know trying to make sure that she's doing okay making sure that she's taken care of she's two hours away so it's kind of hard because it's not super convenient for me to just pop over after she gets off of work or to help her with her new puppy <laughs> my mom just got a puppy <laughs> which the timing of that really probably is less than ideal but he's so cute and he's so loved and he's very well taken care of trust me my brother is helping her a lot and i'm so thankful for my brother he lives about 10 minutes from my mom so that's really good but Anyway, so moral of the story is the stress has been affecting my skin majorly for a couple of reasons. One, when I get stressed, I break out. Two, when I get stressed, I also tend to get lazy about skincare. And there have been several nights, um, almost weekly, that I have been going to bed without washing my face. And that is the worst thing that I can do for my skin because my pores clog like crazy. If I do not stay on my skincare routine, my skin immediately goes to crap. And this is the thing about skincare. It is a journey, not a destination. Like you don't get to the point where you have really good skin that you're happy with. And then you can be like, great, now I'm done. 
Now I can go back to the way things were. No, you, just, you gotta keep using that crap. <laughs> Them's the rules. So I've been going to bed without washing my face and then I wake up in the morning with a mess from the makeup, the SPF, all of the, you know, dirt, grime, lately glitter because I'm decorating for the holidays. <laughs> just all sorts of mess, right? And this is something that I really need to change. Like, you know, I told Craig, I was like, I think I just need to go upstairs at like six o'clock when you come home from work and just take like 15 minutes to do my skincare then instead of waiting until we go to bed at 10 or 11 o'clock because by that point I'm just tired. And when I'm not stressed, I still always make the time. But when I'm stressed, I just, I want to go pass out. Like I just want the day to kind of go away. So moral of the story is I need to fix what's happening on here right now. And I recently shared a Korean skincare haul and I've been using a lot of those products. And honestly, there are several things that I think are helping my skin clear up very quickly. And I just want to let you guys know about them. So the first is um, I've been really going in hard with the Propolis Synergy Toner from COSRX. By the way, I will link all of this stuff down below at Stylevana, which um, they actually, um, they sent me a PR package with all of this stuff. And they sent me an amazing discount code. And just if you've ever shopped with Stylevana, you know that they actually have some of the best prices to begin with when it comes to Korean skincare. They always have sales and the discount code actually works with the sales they're already having. So perfect, right? Um, so this is from Salvana. And this uh, propolis uh, synergy toner has propolis extract, it has honey extract, it has glycerin in it. So this uh, hyaluronic acid. So this has been perfect for keeping my skin like nicely hydrated. This has been a fabulous first step for me after getting out of the shower in the morning and then in the evenings when I am doing my skincare, I've been using this as well to just kind of help balance everything out again in terms of moisture. I use other moisturizers in addition, but I will report back on some of those next week. I wanted to kind of limit this video a little bit. Then the next thing that I've been using that has been helping with a lot of the redness that I've been dealing with is this Panther Recipe Nonika Soothing Serum. Um, I think this is actually from the brand Pestlo, Pestle and Road. Um, but, it, so this has Sika in it. Um, which is really fantastic for helping with redness. And redness is another thing that has become an issue since not washing my face on a regular basis. So this has really helped to soothe that redness and the texture of it, which is like a really nice like watery texture has been perfect because I can use this morning and night. And again, it's another light layer of hydration for me. And the Sika helps with the redness, which is fabulous. And I've been using this <laughs> um, in the mornings. This is the Tia, I, 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 I don't know the name of this product, you guys, I'm sorry, but I will be linking it down below. This is the Pore Minimizing 21 Cream. This has niacinamide in it, as well as uh, BHA. It has 5% niacinamide and natural BHA 2.1%. So low concentration of both active ingredients but just enough for me to be able to use this during the daytime to help with the breakouts. Because for me, BHA has been the best for helping with not only clogged pores um, in terms of like sebaceous filaments or um, blackheads, but also it helps with pimples. And um, man, this friend is finally disappearing. Um, this particular, I have not had one of these types of breakouts on my chin for a long time. It's one of those like really deep ones that takes a while to go away. It's, it's finally gone. I just have a little bit of redness left there, but, um, yeah, like it, it, this stuff is super, super gentle, not drying and bonus when I've been using it during the day, I feel like it has even kept my oiliness at bay much longer into the day, which is fabulous. Um, this actually says to reduce the appearance of rough skin texture and oiliness. And that's, and this is a good size, you guys, this is 2.02 fluid ounces. Um, but yeah, like I just, I feel like my skin has had like a ton of texture and I, I know that skincare works. So I'm, I need to just be more diligent about it. But 
it really has helped immensely with just the texture alone. Um, when I've been looking back at my videos over the last several weeks, I've just been like, oh man, my skin is, is looking rough. But I feel like now it's finally starting to come back and it's starting to have a little bit more of a glow again, starting to, um, you know, uh, sort of the, the breakouts are clearing up a little bit. So anyway, if you like me are, are dealing with some some texture, some redness, some struggles. <laughs> You should check these out. These these have been fantastic for me. So, um, also here's to getting back into the skincare game after falling off the old wagon. Anyway, you guys, that's what I have for you today. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for now. My mom is actually coming to visit today, and she's staying the weekend with little Wolfie, who is her new dog. So, um, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm sure there will be lots of Wolfie content over there. Wolfie is a uh, Aussie black lab mix um she got him at a rescue event and he's just the cutest little fluff ball <laughs> I'm a huge dog person dogs just make me happy right so um, I'm really looking forward to not only spending the time with my mom but also meeting my newest little brother so <laughs> anyway um have a great weekend you guys if you're interested in some candle content I do have a few things pre-filmed that are going to go up this weekend so Make sure that you um, subscribe and you should be notified of those videos. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful in any kind of way. Check out the description box for all the links to all of this stuff. And I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Take care. Toodaloo!